State's most watched news starts now. A former white supremacist visits Joplin to share his story of change and acceptance. This is KOAM News at 10. The Ku Klux Klan has been known for generations as a white supremacy group. Well, now former leader Johnny Clary has changed his ways and is traveling the nation preaching racial unity. KOAM's Kelly Reed has his story. Raised in a home of hatred in Dell City, Oklahoma, Johnny Lee Clary left, and he was on his own at the age of 11, traveling the streets of Los Angeles, searching for acceptance. I needed a family, and if I would come join the KKK, they would protect me and be my family. The Ku Klux Klan became his way of living, burning crosses and promoting white supremacy across the country. I made a lot of wrong choices. I worked my way up in the ranks, and one day I became the Imperial Wizard of the KKK, and, uh, and but there was a price to pay for accepting that position. Struggling with alcohol use and depression, Clary turned to the Bible, seeking forgiveness and acceptance from those he once wronged. Have to learn to love other people and learn to respect other people. To have somebody of this particular persuasion that comes from a, a story of racism and hate, and if you understand his story from even the time that he was a young, young child and lad, um, and how he was brought up with, with hatred, it was, pretty much instilled in him from his youth. Clary now shares his beliefs across the nation, telling his story in Joplin and targeting the racism that hits small towns like the one he grew up in. They go into the small towns to kind of hide from the public and a lot of them have success when they get out into these rural areas. He's got a certain draw and a magnetism that it's just a compelling story that I think needs to be told in this community and it's for racial relations and healing and uh, I think it's just a fantastic opportunity to bring some of that to Joplin. In Joplin, Kelly Reed, KOAM News. Clary will host additional presentations this weekend. We have the times listed on our website as well as extended interviews. That's on KOAMTV.com.